hello so today i'm going to be talking to you um about this uh, piece of artwork that i recently completed um so this piece is part of a still life series um that i've been working on for the past year or so um it was a very dramatic change for me because i was um originally a portrait artist and i moved on to still life studies which i've really been enjoying so with this piece i started off with the gold paint which kind of filled the entire canvas, like including the edges here. It was very striking and very dramatic. So the themes I wanted to convey here were um, luxury, um, obviously through the gold, um, collecting, hoarding, and um, just kind of an appreciation for objects. So um, there's also another theme that comes in um, of displacement. And this, it's not entirely obvious, although um, I think quite a few people like might, may notice that you know because often when you see a vase the association of the vase is that there's normally a flower or a plant in the vase but in this instance I've separated the two um which has kind of had this unintended effect I think I kind of did this because of the aesthetics you know like um it's kind of more it's easier on the eye to observe them separately I think um than do like a traditional you know flower in a vase like still life um, but that theme of displacement has been, you know, really prevalent in my whole body of work. So my other pieces, such as Midas and Objects of the Eye, which are much, much larger scale works, like really seminal, but obviously larger scale, um, they have a lot of objects and it looks quite crowded. Um, so it's kind of like a still life composition. But for this one, I really just wanted to focus on very few objects, which I've kind of like facilitated through using the smaller canvas. Um, and I've been overall like quite pleased with this result. So this is kind of like an accompanying piece to the larger still life studies. Um, what I just, what I really enjoyed about it is just kind of like the total Im immersion in gold. It has this really kind of shiny effect and it draws the viewer towards it. Uh, and very similarly in Midas, um, it was kind of dark colors, but I used gold to create this mystic air, you know, and there was objects such as a treasure chest, um, which is actually a jewellery box, um, and also different glasses and vases. Um, so like on this theme of displacement, um, a lot of objects in my home are from abroad. Uh, I've collected them from my travels or yeah, all the world have kind of passed on. Um, but in this new, in a new setting, they kind of get a different personality and a different meaning. So I really wanted to kind of, you know, so my, my recent still life studies are kind of like an appreciation of those like new kind of stories that are formed when the objects are together and in my home so literally the home is the actual focal point of this entire series so i'm hoping to do a lot more um uh still life studies really similar to this um and like continue to use the gold paint and yeah just totally experiment with as many mediums as i can because for this one, um, I decided not to do the whole thing as a, an acrylic painting. Uh, so what I did is I used um, pastel and chalk, you know, to draw in these leaves here and also this vase. Um, and I liked it because it's a very kind of transparent or translucent kind of material. It's not very solid. Um, so it was kind of like, you know, it gives this antique and worn out appearance because it's not, it looks very sketchy for starters and also like, here on the vase, it looks a little bit faded, you know, if you get a little bit closer to it. Um, but also I wanted to get, I wanted to still show the gold background, so that's why I did that. But I've really enjoyed like creating this work and I've hoped you've enjoyed looking at my process um, and I'll be doing many more of these, so stay tuned and bye bye.